Hello everyone. Today in this video, I am going to derive the equation for traveling harmonic waves. So let us draw a wave. Suppose this is time t equal to zero. This forms a sine curve. As we the name itself indicates, it is a traveling harmonic wave. That means any harmonic wave. which is traveling that means it is a traveling harmonic wave where at time t equal to 0 the displacement is either a sine or a cosine curve this is a sine curve if the curve is like this then it is a cosine curve that means here the curve starts from the equilibrium position here the curve is starts from the maximum amplitude position the basic equation for this let us consider the wave profile psi is equal to f of x equals to a cos mx call this is equation number 1 one thing we have to remember whenever the wave travels along the positive x direction with velocity c at time t this replaces by x minus ct x minus ct if the wave travels along the negative x direction with velocity c at time t it replaces by x plus ct here we are considering the wave is traveling along the positive x direction so in place of the x we have to put x minus ct let us write that is psi is equals to f of x minus ct equals to a cos m here also x so in place of x we have to put this x minus ct okay so we can call this uh, equation number 2 here equation 2 represents a harmonic waves at time t and a is the amplitude of the wave now we know the wave suppose this is the wave sin curve at a time t equal to 0 if the distance between this here to this point is 2 pi by m 2 pi by m so that means the wave profile repeats itself regularly at a distance 2 pi by m means it is the distance between two points with the same profile or same phase is called the wavelength that is 2 pi by m here you know after this what will happen again the wave starts from here and again goes again end to here so every 2 pi by m distance it repeats itself so that we can write lambda is equal to 2 pi by m now this is equal this equation number 3 now if t is the time period if t is the time period of the wave if t is the time period of the wave then lambda is equals to ct that means here we know lambda wavelength is defined by this c by f that is velocity of the velocity by frequency so 1 by f is nothing but a t time period so this is ct or we can write it as t is equals to lambda by c t is equals to lambda by c 
or this could be written as is uh, t is equals to 2 pi by mc because lambda is 2 pi by m so 2 pi by mc call this equation number 4 now the frequency of the wave is defined by the frequency nu of the wave is defined by nu is equals to 1 by t so frequency is the reciprocal of the time period that's why 1 by t and this equals to c by lambda this equals to c by lambda because uh, t is equal to lambda by c because t is equal to lambda by c that's why 1 by t is equal to c by lambda or we can write it as c is equals to nu lambda c is equals to nu lambda we can call this equation number 5 now we have to rewrite the equation 2 rewrite the equation 2 in terms of wavelength in terms of wavelength by using equation number 3 that is we have to put this equation 3 in equation 2 so first I will write the equation 2 that is the psi is equals to f of x minus ct equals to a cos m into x minus ct. So this is the equation number 2 is there. So now we have to put this in equation uh, we have to put the equation 3 in this one. So what is that equation 2 is uh, equation 3 is lambda by lambda is equal to 2 pi by m this is the lambda is equal to 2 pi by m so here m is there so what is m now it is 2 pi by lambda uh, m is equal to 2 pi by lambda so in place of m we have to substitute 2 pi by lambda in this equation so let us write that is psi is equals to a cos we'll write this one only a cos 2 pi by lambda into x minus ct so in place of m i have written only 2 pi by lambda so call this equation number 6 now the wave now wavelength in unit distance is called the wave number means the number of wavelengths in unit distance is called the wave number so it is denoted by nu bar uh, wave number it is denoted by nu bar that equals to 1 by lambda 1 by lambda wave number is 1 by lambda that is reciprocal of the wavelength now the quantity the 2 pi by lambda is equals to what 2 pi nu bar because 1 by lambda is nu bar so 2 pi by lambda is equal to 2 pi nu bar is equals to k we can call this as k is the propagation constant is the propagation constant so therefore k is equals to 2 pi by lambda k is equals to 2 pi by lambda call this equation number 7 now now we can write the equation 6 in the alternate form as psi is equals to a cos kx minus omega t this is equation number 8 
so we have written this uh, equation 6 in the alternate form like this so in equation 6 we have substituted 2 pi by lambda by k so that becomes a cos kx minus omega t where omega is where omega equals to 2 pi nu that equals to 2 pi c by lambda nu is c by, c by lambda because we know that uh, omega is angular frequency defined by 2 pi f it is defined by 2 pi f here the equation number 8 is the main equation so this is the main equation here psi is equal to a cos kx minus omega t now this equation can be written in the complex notation also uh, if you write in the complex notation it becomes in the complex form complex form it becomes uh, psi is equals to psi is equals to a into e to the power of i kx minus omega t call this equation number 9 here the real part of the complex representation represents the wave 